Have you thought installing a flight simulator on your Chromebook would be impossible? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you the best flight simulator you can install on your Chromebook today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel. It's completely free and doesn't take more than one click and really helps this channel grow. Now, this flight simulator will work for any Chromebooks that have Google Play, um, that have access to the Google Play Store and have Android supported apps. This is most Chromebooks, so you really shouldn't have a problem for this. Now, you'll need to head over to the Google Play Store and hit the search tab. The flight simulator is called GeoFS. You can search that on the Google Play Store. GeoFS was originally a web-based flight simulator. There still is a multiplayer version of it on the web, but they've made an offline version that really works great on Chromebooks. Now, of course, once you've installed it, you'll want to open it, which is what I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to show you some key features that really make this Chromebook, be this flight simulator better for Chromebooks than other ones. And I'm going to show you some cool features of the flight simulator itself. Now that we're in GeoFS itself, I'd like to show you around the simulator and show you a couple features that make this flight simulator really cool on a Chromebook. Now, talking about the aircraft, right now we're in a Boeing 737-800, but you do have a couple other options. Now, this is the free version of it. You can get a paid version, which has more aircraft. Now, we only do have free options, but these are actually pretty cool. The Boeing 737 is uh, definitely a aircraft that is really fun to fly, so it's definitely, um, the, the aircraft choices are not too meager. Now, a couple other things that are really cool. One thing is the map feature, which shows you all the different um, runways and different destinations that you can go. You can see I'm in the island of Corsa, or Corsa, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it's really cool. You can see all the different destinations. It's, it's like many other flight simulators that are made for Windows computers uh, in that regard that has these kinds of maps. Now, talking about this, um, autopilot. Now, it does have autopilot, which is actually really cool. You can see I can put on autopilot, and I can change the heading, making my aircraft go to a different destination I want. Also, altitude, I can change the altitude. So this is actually really cool. Um, maybe you wouldn't think that such a flight simulator would have something like this, but it does, and it's really cool. You can also change the IAS. Now, if you do want to leave autopilot, to have some fun with your aircraft, you can do that by pressing this button and disengaging autopilot, and then you can manually control your aircraft as I'm doing right now. You can also use different camera angles. You can see that I can zoom in out of my aircraft and um, zoom out so I can see have different angles, so it's really good for um, taking recordings as well. But you can also um, come over here to the camera angle and you can go to different, you can go to the cockpit cam, so it's really cool. There's different features. So overall, this flight simulator simulator is a really um, a really cool flight simulator. It has a lot of features, and it's really great for a Chromebook. The graphics aren't that good, but you can always upgrade those in the, the paid version. But overall, it's a really good flight simulator since it's free. It's it's I mean it's pretty good for being free. Well, if if you try to simulate out, do let me know your experience in the comments down below. Also, if you're new to my channel, do make sure to subscribe. It's completely free and doesn't take more than one click. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time.